everybody it is randy with archaeology and i am gonna dig them up some more today because that's what i do and yes i got my hair cut finally i got tired of looking like a muppet and so went downtown got a trim feel significantly lighter and more comfortable now anyway i'm off on my way to anza again today uh, to do some more work on the estate up there uh, cars are thankfully finding homes uh, we've got some people interested in a wide variety of stuff uh, and hopefully we'll see something leave the property here today I think the cat the uh, uh, the Packard is gonna go um, that guy's supposed to show up with his wheels and the rest of the money to haul that out of there and now that we've got some tires on the tractors I think we may do a little moving and shaking uh, to get access to some of these different cars uh, and bring them out to where they can be easily picked up. So follow along and again, if you see anything on the property in any of the videos, uh, definitely let me know. Uh, the goal is to move this stuff out of here as quick as we possibly can. The faster they're out of here, uh, the better the family can move on with what they need to do with the property and that sort of thing. So anyway, follow along, here we go. All right, so we're going to trim some bushes here, try to clear a path to get the Fury out of here. And then once we get the Fury out, then I think we're going to go after the Ford that's hiding over here. The world's finest road builders here. Clearing the path for the mighty Fury. All right, have the steering wheel tied off, so hopefully these front wheels will stay pointing straight and Lewis is going to back the tractor on up we've got a chain around the rear axle a little hope a little prayer and a little pull we'll see if it'll move Okay. Uh, it is just going straight into that tree. I'd say just roll with it. Just roll with it? Yeah. got it moving but it's wanting to work its way into the bush over there so we've got the wheel clocked and turned and tied off and we'll see if it uh, corrects itself to make it down the path I'm amazed we got it to move this far though it's a good sign all right
came up on this tree back here. We're gonna reset the chain and the tractor, try to pull the back end up over this way so we can uh, get it pointing back down the road. So hopefully we've got it pointed the right way now. Lewis can hook up the tractor to the backside there and we can get it to kind of go around the corner around this bush. Hopefully without pinstriping that beautiful finish in the process. Unfortunately tweaked a little bit of trim on the back there, but not too bad. Getting the tractor to go by there on that angle was a little tough. But, uh, Rule number one, don't park your cars out in the desert and leave them for 40 years. Hang on, wait, wait, wait. trying to thread a needle here with a 1960 Plymouth Fury on slippery ground with flat tires that doesn't steer. Getting a little close. Alright, so we are very close to the fence post here. We've cranked the wheels, cleared a little more brush over here. We're gonna see if we can just sneak it past that point. All right. Want to fold over those tires. Woo. Hang on. So we moved the gate a little farther away. Should be able to keep it off of that post without any problem. Go for it. As soon as we get it past that, then we can crank it a little bit. Looking good. A uh, little bit more. Okay. Right, made it past the post. Now we've got this tree here. And then a Ford truck over there. Whew. So it's definitely fighting this wants to go off in there. I'm going to crank the wheels the other way, see if that helps a bit. Come on, baby. A new life awaits. We got to get you out of here, though. I got to wait, 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 wait. baby so close so close not enough all right so we're gonna try to push the Ford truck off into the tree there so that we can get a little clearance to get the fury by because it keeps on wanting to go over that direction. We've got no clearance on this side to pull it this direction at all. So uh, it's fighting us, but uh, well, we can do it and try to minimize any damage at all to the car. Uh, we did pop a taillight lens, unfortunately. It, it was cracked before though, I had looked, uh, and this little piece of trim did come off of there, but definitely fixable. So. 
And here comes Lewis. We'll see if we can get the Ford off to the side, clear a little path. I think you're looking good. A little bit more if we can. Now we're dealing with some soft ground here too, is making it a little difficult. Lewis is pretty amazing at threading the needle with this thing. No stranger to operate the tractor. There we go. Yeah. And then try to steer it that way if you can. Yeah. Keep on going. That's all <laughs> But I think we maybe did it. I think we're clear. If we if we can keep it from going that way, we'll be good. So we got ourselves a little bit of clearance there. Now we can just sneak it by without it sliding over here into the bush some more, which is going to be a challenge. Um, I think we'll be clear sailing on out of here. Whew. No, it's just going to pull it that way. Just going to get it. Still want to come this way. Darn it. There we go. Beautiful. All right. I think that's beautiful. Well, that was really effective. Took moving the truck bed out of that. We tipped it up over there to give a little bit of space for the tractor. Gave it a good yank sideways. Now I think if we can straighten those wheels out a little bit, we'll have our clear path. Man, it's like a jigsaw puzzle trying to get it out of here. Oh well, it'll happen. Then who's coming to get this thing? Come on guys, somebody's got to step up and save the mighty Fury. It's so killer. All right, it's come down the hill. We've got her hooked up. Let's see if she will go all the way. Whew, it's been fighting us. Good warm day too. Getting a workout. Uh, yeah. Hang on, Lewis, wait. All right, finally. We got her down the hill. Uh, I'd say keep on going, I guess. I don't know, I think 
Sure. All right, now she's out where somebody can get her. Pull right up with the truck and trailer. Scoop that fury up. Dig it up and drive it, man. I want to see that car on the road. It deserves it. It's too freaking cool to be sitting like it has. I don't know. I'd say that's good. I like that too. This is where she sits until until that time. Yeah. Because I figured we can still get past it. Still get past it. So get a spot of room right there. Let's have a Well, I will say this. These tires made all the difference. Oh my god, the new tires on the tractor. I admit that was really amazing. The weight coming right through there yeah where it was just spanning, spanning right spanning. if i'd have had more weight yeah i'd have pulled right through there so i did miss the weight right there oh, but yeah. yeah there's nothing like new treads though awesome now don't go falling in love with that rv there clark i'm taking it with me when i leave in a month <laughs> if anybody wants a cool old winnebago this one's up for grabs. The interior is actually really quite nice in it because the windows have always been covered. There's been blankets and stuff over the seats. And it's it's really an impressive shape inside. And it's been sitting here for quite a while. The transmission is out of it, but I believe we do have a rebuilt transmission for it. Um, anyway, it's up on blocks and and it needs to go somewhere. So if you know anybody that's into vintage RVs, this one, Barbie's Dream RV, could be yours. Just make an offer. Lots and lots of stuff. These are some Nash bumpers that I believe were new old stock ones when they were added to the pile. Uh, here's a uh, cab over door from like a 37 to 39 Ford. Some old milk jugs from Idlewild Wild Dairy. The Victrola. Some old enamel lights. Cool jack. Here's a little brake or a little valve grinder piece. Uh, there's brand new uh, ignition stuff. And just lots and lots and lots of stuff i dig that streamline bench bias that thing's really pretty cool it's a motorcycle speedometer headlight thing from a honda some sort of cool little cedar cool streamline art deco-y looking sprinkler anyway lots of stuff so come out to buy a car you get a chance to dig around through all the junk uh, and there's some wonderful wonderful junk and great old tools um, and all of it's got to go somewhere uh, there's some old nash manuals um, hudson 40 ford there's a old thermometer a chevrolet thermometer lots of old product cans and popular mechanics magazines and Oldsmobile 1953, 1954, 1956, 1958. Cool stuff, man. If you see anything you like, let me know. All right, so now with the Fury out of the way, we're gonna see if we can drag this old Ford out of here. It's, uh, it's pretty well buried in there. This will be an interesting one. Should clear out a path pretty nice. All right, watch for rats. Go for it. I bet we get some critters jumping out of this one. It's been sitting a long, 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 long time.
Come on, baby. You can do it. There we go. Almost. <laughs> that headlight ring popping off. There we go. She's free. Woohoo! Awesome. Oh, check this out. There's a bunch of cool saws underneath here. Nice piece. Awesome. All right, back to the car. Ready for takeoff. So we're gonna try to hook the front of it up, swing it over sideways here so we can point it downhill there straight. Uh, there's no functional steering on the car, so I think that'll help us uh, try to keep it straight. There's some old engines underneath here, by the way. We'll have to do some research here and see what we got. Yeah, I think if we drag this thing sideways and spin it around, we can go on down the hill. Nice if we could steer it. Fortunately, that steering column is not hooked up. The wheel just spins. So the old Ford is fighting us here. The uh, front wheel is just turned sideways. I've tried yanking on it with all my might. Can't get it to straighten out. The steering wheel is not hooked up. It just spins on the column. We're gonna get a big crowbar here, see if we might be able to straighten it out and then get it pointing the right way down the hill. And they say that chasing old cars is, is fun. It's fun. <laughs> there we go. That's working. That, that helped though.
Now we got her licked. He's following along like a puppy dog. Come on, baby, come on. Come on. His new tires digging on the tractor. Awesome. Love it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What was that? Sure. If we had a bar, say one, two, yeah. say ten feet, I think we could make it work. Awesome. Get, get the wheels on the old Packard, and she'll be ready to roll. Crazy, because I cleaned all of that off of there. You could totally see the head. You could see the whole engine compartment. Got everything out of there, and it's totally full again. That's nuts. All right, rock and roll. Okay. <laughs> so the Packard is on its wheels, and the tow truck's coming for it shortly. Off to a new home. That guy's super excited to get this thing on the road. Crazy day. Long, long day today. But it was a fruitful one. The new owner of the Packard came to put the wheels on it and get it out of there and pay for that. So that car is gone. We managed to get the mighty Fury off of the upper end of the property and down onto the flats where it'll be easy to load it. And we also got the Ford that was hiding way up deep behind it down. So it's in a good spot to be picked up and saved. Also had a, a nice father and son come and check out the 61 Cadillac. And I think they're really in love with it and want to take on the project. And they're going to go home and try to talk mom into the idea. Uh, so we'll see how effective they are with that and if they come back for it. Um, but another fun day in Anza digging through this rusty old gold. And again, I'm so happy that these cars are finding homes uh, and there are still several more to go. Uh, there's the Meadowbrook, there's the Lancer, there's the Fury, uh, the Savoy has sold, there is the Valiant Wagon, uh, there's the Mitsubishi Eclipse, uh, we've got the 42 Studebaker, uh, there's the Ford Station Wagon, the 61 Ford F-350 truck. Uh, there's uh, Metropolitan, actually two Metropolitans. One's a convertible uh, and then the other's a coupe. And there's a 53 Buick Special chassis with the engine, firewall and dash there too that we need to find a home for. Um, I'm probably missing some. Oh, the C10 truck, the 60, uh, 65 C10 Chevy truck. Uh, all of those need to find homes and everything's going cheap. We're talking hundreds of dollars. Nothing is in the thousands. Um, please contact me. I can send you more information. I really want to see all this stuff get into hands and have a new lease on life. So please, uh, please keep on digging them up and driving them. Thanks again for watching. I hope you're enjoying the process of clearing this property. It is fun, tiring, backbreaking, hot, dirty, rat filled all that, but I love every minute of it. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.